Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain the frequency response of common emitter amplifier experiment. The aim of this experiment is to study the common emitter amplifier and to find the cutoff frequencies bandwidth and midband voltage gain. Equipment required is uh, we need a common emitter, emitter amplifier trainer kit. And this is the trainer kit. And we need CRO and this is function generator. In order to perform this experiment, first thing is we need to set source voltage Vs equal to 50 millivolts at 1 kilohertz frequency. For this we are going to take help of function generator and CO. So switch on the function generator. As we want to uh, have a sign signal, here you can see a square wave function, sign function and triangular function press on sign wave. And then as we want here 1 kilohertz signal, press 1k and keep it to the maximum value so that it indicates this is 1000 frequency and DC offset should be always minimum and this is the amplitude which will help us to increase the amplitude of the signal and this is the positive and this is negative and this is uh, CRO where we can have two channels this is channel 1 and this is channel 2 and in channel 1, this is the Y position, corresponding Y position. This is the Y position of channel 2. And this is the common X position. And these are the probes used to keep here channel 1. Let's keep only channel 1. Now we are setting the input signal, make connect positive to positive and negative to negative, red red to black black. You can view the signal there. Okay, in order to set this signal, we are going to use uh, some small settings here, amplitude. Here you can see amplitude value is here like this. And how do we calculate the amplitude here based on this value into this amplitude. Here each division is 0 0.2. Here you can see each division is 0 0.2. 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, 1. One box is 1. Into you have to take the multiplication factor. Here you can see the y position. I am just modifying y position and x position. Here it is fitting into two boxes. So 2 into 50 millivolts you can, we can have the amplitude. But we are asked to find here set source voltage Vs equal to 50 millivolts. But here we are getting 50 millivolts into 2 that is 100 millivolts. In order to reduce this amplitude we have to press here attenuation 20 dB. Now you can see. When you release it, my moksa release check. When you release it, you can see. This is the difference. You need to press 20 dB so that attenuation will be provided to the signal and adjust the amplitude knob in frequency generator in such a way that the signal should fit in one box, exactly one box. So that we can write amplitude of the signal as number of divisions it is going to be covered into this multiplication factor, voltage knob multiplication factor. Amplitude of the signal is measured like number of divisions it has been covered here like 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.81 into 50 millivolts. So the voltage or the amplitude of the signal is 50 millivolts. Whatever we are asked here, we are done with it. So this is how you can set the input signal. The frequency at 1 kilohertz. Now to find the frequency of a CE amplifier, we are going to make connections with the trainer kit. CE amplifier, so positive, here input is given to the to this kit. And VCC 12 volts is internally given. And in CRO, in channel 1 we are going to see input and in channel 2 we are going to see the output signal. So this is channel 2 probe, output probe, positive and negative. 
these are the connections to be made switch on the trainer kit and observe the output signal here if you press dual you can see both signals properly as you can see dots there adjust the voltage knob of cro adjust in such a way that to see the signal properly and now note down the value of output signal adjust the y position y position and x position of the signal so that x position this is output signal you can see here it is one box into 1.2 1.6 and 1.8 1.6 or 1.8 anything so let me conclude it as 1.6 1.6 into here multiplication factor is 1 so v not equal to 1.6 volts at 1 kilohertz frequency in order to find the frequency response we need to change the frequency starting from 50 hertz to 1 megahertz if you want to put 50 hertz here so the maximum value here is you have to press 100 whenever you press 100 the frequency between 10 and 100 can be given by this function generator so if you change this fine frequency knob to 50 so this is nothing but 50 hertz if you want to set 90 hertz you just change this fine frequency knob to 90 if you want to keep 500 hertz then press 1k so that this frequency between 100 and 1 kilohertz frequencies will be showed here so you have to keep here 500 it indicates 500 hertz and if you want to keep 3k just press 10k because it lies between that value lies between 1k and 3k so you just change to 3k in this way you have to note down the readings so we'll take help of tabular column here to find the frequency response we'll start with 50 hertz like 1 3 5 7 7 we'll start with as uh, we can't take 10 hertz and 30 hertz because of low frequencies we cannot view the signal properly we'll start with 50 hertz 50 hertz 70 hertz 100 1357 300 500 700 1000 1000 means 1k 3k 5k 7k 10k 30k 50k 70k 100k 300k 500k 700k and finally we'll stop at 1 mega at each and every frequency you have to note down v not from c or o and after noting down all these values you have to find the value of gain v not divided by vs vs is 50 millivolts we have already set and by using calculator you have to find this column values and also using calculator you have to find gain in db values these two columns will be done using calculator now let's see these values so as we have got at 1k if you remember we have got at 1k 1.6 volts 1.6 into 1 now let me show you at 50 50 hertz at low frequencies 50 hertz you for this you have to press at 100 at 100 and adjust the fine frequency to 50 and even here you adjust time period now because when frequency is changed time also gets changed here you can see as this is a low frequency there will be like uh, waveform will not be stable but will make sure to know the trace if you see the trace you can see we'll be getting 1.2 volts into multiplication factor 1 in the same way we have to put 70 use fine frequency and put 70 and note down the value of output signal next 100 next 300 press 1k because 300 lies between 100 and 1k and adjust fine frequency to 2 to 300 and adjust a time period here so that you can view the signal properly so y position this is channel 1 input and this is channel 2 output so you have to note down the amplitude value at each and every frequency by using the function generator and corresponding values and after uh, calculating gain and gain in db values you have to plot a graph using semilog graph like this 
and then from graph we are going to find 3 dB frequencies and we can find the bandwidth.